get asked how to put people into campaigns. Well, you could you could do it with having a tag in the frontier, but if you have a tag in the frontier and you don't use it for any other purpose, well, it becomes redundant in the contacts record if you use the tag. But then again, tags are actionable. So if that tag ever appears in anyone's contact record, they will automatically go into this campaign. So that's a bit dangerous. I don't do that. I create a uh, little sequence in front of the campaign that's just called entry timer. It's got a 30 minute run any time of the day um, timer there. And then I will place people directly into this campaign by doing this. Firstly, you need to go and find your contacts. So I will look for the contacts um, here. Um, uh, contains. I just created a few dummy. Smart communication, I'll put in there. Hopefully I'll find them. There we go, two contacts. Um, firstly, in order to action this, you have to select them. And then you go actions, um, start, stop a campaign. Note you can start or stop. So now I have to say which campaign. So I have to choose the campaign now. So I called it examples campaign and then there, because I published it, I will see that and I go entry delay, delay timer. And now I can process this action and I will place those two contacts into the campaign. Um, you need to wait for this to see that it's happening. That's your confirmation. And then if I go back to the campaign and I go reporting, I should momentarily see these contacts appear here in the campaign. It's obviously not going to happen. Okay, I'm not going to prolong this, but you, you will see them. There they go. You can see the two um, over there. So that's all for now in this short tutorial.